Namaste, my name is teacher Sunal and today Rosila is assisting me to my side. Thank you Rosila. And we'll be doing HIIT yoga so you will feel there are yoga stretches for your entire body as well as the cardio movements which will help to build up the heat inside your body. So enjoy the practice, hope you will like it. So from here I'm going to put my hands on the knees, I roll my shoulder blades back and I place my right hand on the left knee, left hand reaches back and I give myself a nice final twist. And then I come back to the center. I put my left hand on the right knee, right hand reaches back and this final twist. So we'll be doing it one more time. Putting the right hand on the left knee, left hand reaches back. You can stay more in the same position. And then we put the left hand on the right knee and right hand reaches back. And then we come back to the center. And I'm going to go into the table top position where my wrist is in line with the shoulder, my knee is in line with the hip. I have tucked my toes, lift the knees, heels pressing the mat into the down dog. So your heels may or may not press the mat. It is completely fine. You just accept your body, breathe, give yourself some time. Inhale, exhale, just one more deep breath here, inhale, exhale. With the next breath from the down dog position, we are going to lift the heels. We're going to bend the knees and we are going to turn our hips to the right. So my sit bones are closer to the mat but not touching. And then lifting the hips high, bending the knees, turning the sit bones to the left side. And then again up and high to the right. Enjoy the practice. Up high. To the left. Inhale up high. Exhale to the right. Inhale up high. Exhale to the left. Just five more of this. Up high. Exhale to the right. Up high. Exhale to the left. Four more. Up high to the right up high to the left three more up high to the right up high to the left one more up high to the right up high to the left and from here you can choose to keep your knees bent or straighten the leg and take your right arm over the ear right arm over the ear feel the stretch in your right side waist we maintain last five last four last three last two and then you bring your right palm down onto the mat and lift your left arm up left arm reaches over the ear feel the stretch we stay last five last four last three last two and then we come back into the down dog position from the down dog position we simply start walking our feet to the front and once we reach to the front, we are going to walk our feet back. So you can choose to keep your knees bent and walk. Or if you can keep your legs straight, walk your feet front. And then walk your feet back. Yes, we are just going to do five more of this. Walk your feet front. And walk your feet back. Four more, walk your feet front and walk your feet back. Three more, walk your feet front 
and walk your feet back very good last two more walk your feet front and walk your feet back one last walk your feet front and then reach out to your big toes bend your elbows stretch your hamstrings now some cannot reach to the big toes so I would ask them to keep your legs straight and just place your hands anywhere on your leg and start bending your elbows and so that the distance between the belly and the th belly and the thigh gets closer or you can choose to keep your knees bent and grab your big toes and maintain this position we just stay inhale exhale inhale exhale and with the next breath I want you to lift the head up and I want you to extend the arms towards the front the most difficult task keeping the knees locked or you can soften the knee if you feel too much in your hamstrings very good very beautiful we just stay inhale exhale inhale exhale and from this position we put the hands on the waist and we slowly lift ourselves up so keeping the arms to the side so rosila hope the heat is building up and hope you're enjoying the practice <laughs> So from here, we are standing tall in Tadasana. I want you to take rest as well. So two deep breaths here. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And with the next breath, we again will come to the front of the mat. And from here, we'll go for a little movement. Now my hands are on the waist. I bend my right knee and with control and focus I slowly start taking my right leg back and then again I bend my right knee and then I go for extending my right leg to the front again bend and take it to the back very nice and bend and take it to the front beautiful just three more bend take it to the back bend and take it to the front just two more bend and take it to the back bend and take it to the front one last bend take it to the back and we hold you have the option to keep your hands on the waist or to the front your choice we stay last five try to level the hips last four make sure your right hip doesn't go higher than the left this is perfect last three last two last one and then you bend your knee put your hands on the waist and you go for extending the leg to the front and just maintain if you feel your right leg is coming down then bend again and then again go for extending the leg and stay last five last four last three last two and we bend the right knee and we drop the right leg back so we are into this position that the front knee is bending back leg is straight back heel is lifted hands on the waist and we go for straightening the front leg and we bend the knee now when we bend the knee make sure the front thigh is parallel to the floor and we straighten and we bend perfect just eight more straighten and bend seven more straighten and bend six more straighten and bend five more straighten 
and bend for last straighten and bend three more straighten and bend two more straighten and bend one last straighten and bend and we put the palms on the mat now i reach out to my block palms on the block i straighten my front leg and i flatten my back heel so my both the legs are straight my knees are locked if you feel that if you see yourself bending the front knee you can anytime increase the height of the block and try to straighten the leg then we try folding forward your belly gets closer to your left thigh just we're gonna breathe in breathe out here in this position relaxing yourself stretching the hamstrings inhale exhale inhale exhale never forget that you guys all about breathing inhale exhale inhale exhale one more inhale exhale now she lifts her head up she puts her palm on the mat or over the block we are moving into the standing splits so she can choose to put her palms on the mat or over the block and start lifting the back heel up start lifting the back foot off the mat so she takes her time her hands more closer to the left foot trying lifting the back leg up belly more closer to her left thigh and breathe in breathe out in this position last five last four very nice i can hear your breathing last three very good last two last one and then she drops her right leg back she brings her palms down on the mat taking her left leg back her option to put the knees down and either you can cross your right ankle over the left or you can simply put the feet down and bend the elbows leaning front shoulders ahead of the wrist and to lift up you can choose to lift the knees inhale to bend exhale to lift up so it's up to you two more inhale to bend exhale to lift one more inhale to bend exhale to lift and this time she put the toes down on the mat and she simply drops her belly down lifting to up dog very nice and she pushes her heel back into the down dog a deep breath here inhale exhale two more inhale exhale one more inhale exhale gaze to the front she either steps front or she hops front very good grabbing the big toes before she go further stretching her hamstring grabbing a deep breath in this position inhale exhale and with the next breath you slowly lift yourself up lifting the arms up try creating a little arch in your back very good and then with the next breath you come back to the center so grab a deep breath standing tall before we go for the other side inhale exhale one more deep breath inhale exhale so there are a lot of cardio movements so it is always advisable that you grab some deep breath so that you are ready for the next set 
one more deep breath inhale exhale and then we again come to the front of the mat again we put our hands on the waist we bend our other knee this time so we bend the left knee and with control we are going to take our left leg back and with control we bend the left knee and we are going to extend the left leg front yes so bend the knee and take it to the back very nice bend the knee and take it to the front awesome just three more times bend and take it to the back bend and take it to the front two more times bend and take it back bend and take it front one last time bend take it to the back and her option to stay or to extend the arms to the front leveling the hips flexing the left foot we maintain last five last four last three last two and she first puts her hand on the waist bend her left knee and then she go for extending her left leg to the front and maintain this position last five last four last three last two last one and we bend the left knee we drop the left leg back so first i try sinking the hips down so that the front thigh is parallel to the floor and then we go for extending the leg and then bend the knee and extend the leg just eight more bend inhale extend exhale bend inhale extend six more bend extend very good with the breathing bend and extend four more bend and extend three more bend and extend last two bend and extend one last bend and extend and bend we put the palms on the mat i reach out to my blocks i straighten my leg i press the back heel down so reach out to your blocks press the back heel down if you feel sharp pain in your hamstring soften your knee we maintain inhale exhale inhale exhale two more inhale exhale one more inhale exhale she lifts her head up option to keep her palms on the block or over the mat now keep pressing the palms down and start lifting your back leg up very nice so find your own balance your own control we stay now if you can grab your right ankle with your right hand please do so if cannot it is completely fine keep the back leg up and high we stay inhale exhale so keep breathing we stay here for last five last four last three last two last one and then you drop your back leg back left leg back now bring your palms down onto the mat we are gonna go for low push-up so your option to put your knees down or keep the knees off inhale to bend the elbows 
Exhale to lift back. Two more. Inhale to bend. Exhale to lift back. One more. Inhale to bend. Exhale to lift back. And this time we simply drop our belly. Tuck our toes. Drop the belly. And curl up into up dog. Very nice. And we push the heels back into the down dog. A deep breath here, inhale, exhale. Grabbing one more deep breath here, inhale, exhale. So she let her gaze go to the front. She either choose to walk front or float front, it's up to her. So grabbing her big toes again, finding some breaths in stretching the hamstrings again and you feel so good when you are into folding forward and you're stretching your hamstrings. So personally this is my favorite. Inhale, exhale, one more inhale, exhale and with the next breath she let her gaze go to the front. She extend the arms to the front and she maintain this position. Inhale, exhale. One more. Inhale, exhale. And she puts her hands on the waist and she stands tall. All right. So we take the arms to the side. We again grab two deep breaths before we go further. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And with the next breath, I again move to the front of my mat. This time, I'm taking my arms to the side, bending the knees. Now when I bend the knees, I make sure I'm able to see my toes, that my knees are not crossing the toes. I'm going to pull my belly button to the spine, so this is going to reduce the arch in the back. And we just stay here for a deep breath. Inhale. Exhale. From this position, I would ask her to bring the hands near the heart center. And with the left elbow, pull the right knee and twist to the right. Very nice. And then she again come back to the center. And then with the right elbow, pull the left knee and twist to the left. Very good. Just five more times. Center. To the right. Center. To the left. Four more times. Center. To the right. Center. To the left. Three more times, center, to the right, center, to the left, two more times, center, to the right, center, to the left, one last time, center, to the right and we hold. Now she can choose to stay in this position or what she can do is she can bring the palms down on the mat. We are trying the side crow. Palms down on the mat. So my knees are bending and my left elbow is touching the left right thigh. I'm going to lift my heels, bending the elbows and my right side of the body, that especially my right hip and the right thigh is resting on the tricep. Then from there we lift the feet off the mat. Your option to maintain or you extend the leg. We stay in this position. Very good. That's perfect. If you find difficulty lifting both the feet, try lifting one. Very good. Your gaze needs to be slightly to the front and we just stay. Very good. It's all about trying and you're doing so good. Yes. Bending the elbows. Yes. We maintain. Last five, take your own time. Last four, it's all about building the strength and you're doing a very good job. Last three. Last two. 
last one and then you come back to the center awesome Rosie you did so good <laughs> and then we stand tall again we grab a deep breath before we move on to the other side inhale exhale so I again bring my hands near the heart center I again bend my knees this time with the right elbow we pull the left knee and we twist to the left side her option to maintain the same and we first slowly bring the palms down on the mat so we bend the knees and we twist to so it's better we do it this way so we bend the knees we twist to the left we bring the palms down on the mat we bend our elbows we rest our left side of the body on the tricep we go for lifting the feet slightly off or if you find yourself a lot balanced then you can go for extending the leg so you go slow that's perfect you're trying your best and i'm so proud of you very good so your body needs to be rest on the tricep you're trying the side crow we try we connect with the breath as well so we bending the elbows yes this side perfect yes lift the heels a little perfect yes one feet or both the feet we stay last five do it with your own pace very good last four gaze slightly to the front very nice last three last two last one and then you come back to the center i'm so proud of you, you did so well it's all about trying and you did it so well so i i again go back into the folding forward position grabbing some breaths here stretching my hamstrings belly gets closer to the thigh inhale exhale one more inhale exhale and then from there i step my right leg back i step my right leg back my right palm is down and i lift my left arm up my gaze towards the left palm first you stay into this position this position is runners twist and we maintain this last five last four last three last two and from here we slowly with control we start lifting the right palm off the mat and then we slowly bring the right palm down so feel the burning in your quads when you do this movement lift the right hand off the mat and bring the right palm down very nice just five more right palm off the mat beautiful and bring the palm down four more right hand off the mat and bring the palm down three more right hand off the mat and bring the palm down two more right hand off the mat and bring the palm down one last right hand off the mat and i just want you to stay last five breathe last four smile <laughs> last three last two last one and we bring the palms down on the mat taking the left leg back your option to put the knees down moving on to three low push-ups inhale to bend the elbows exhale to lift back two more inhale to bend the elbows exhale to lift one more inhale to bend exhale to lift and in this we drop our belly down and we curl up into the up dog and we push the heels back into the down dog a deep breath here inhale exhale breathe in 
breathe out with the next breath let her gaze go to the front step your right foot front all right <laughs> so since she has moved to the front I would ask her to walk her feet back again and I want her to step only the right foot front yes and left palm down we lift the right arm up so we're gonna do the other side as well yes we just maintain this position run a twist last five last four last three and I want her to smile last two <laughs> and with the next breath just lift your left hand off the mat very nice and bring it on the mat beautiful feel the burn in your quads lift the left hand off the mat and bring it on the mat just five more lift it off and bring it on four more lift it off and bring it on three more lift it off and bring it on two more lift it off and bring it on one last lift it off and i just want her to stay with a smile last five last four last three last two and for one and we bring the palms down and i want her to step her left foot to the front and grab the big toes and stretch the hamstrings two deep breaths in the folding forward position inhale exhale breathe in breathe out and with the inhale i want her to lift her arms up push the hips to the front point the fingers to the back side of the wall and with the next breath she comes back to the center and standing tall again in tadasana i want her to rest tall in tadasana grabbing two deep breaths inhale exhale inhale exhale and then rosie how you're feeling better okay. <laughs> heat building up <laughs> all right but you're enjoying your practice yes, right that's you. that's perfect <laughs> so we come to the front of the mat again and then from there i again bend my knees arms to the side and I fall forward and again I bend my knees arms to the side and I fall forward just five more times like this bending the knees arms to the side and then fall forward three more times bending the knees arms to the side and fall forward two more times bending the knees arms to the sides and then fall forward one last bending the knees arms to the side and then you bring your hands near the heart center and pull your right knee nicely in and then from there i'm going to step my left foot back with control yes and twisting to the right Pull your right knee nicely in so that your hands get automatically closer to your left shoulder. We just stay. Last five. Last four. Last three. Last two. Last one. And she puts her left knee down on the mat. She puts her hands on the waist. And then she try lifting her back knee up. And then she again puts her knees down. And lift it up. Believe me, it is not that nice. So you don't feel that good, but it is very good for your body. And lift it up. And then down. Just two more. Lift it up. 
and then down one last lift it up and then down and when i put it down i again go for this spinal twist so i pull my right knee nicely in then comes the option to make a bound so i bend the left elbow i use the right hand to push the left hand under the right thigh then take the right arm behind make a bound and then try lifting the back knee up so if we find difficulty which is very natural if we find difficulty then what we can do we are going to bend the left elbow with the right hand we push the left hand under the right thigh use the strap wrap the strap lift the right shoulder right rib cage lifter and if you're using the strap walk your hands closer to each other very good we maintain this position last five last four with a smile last three last two last one and then she can release the bound once she releases the bound she brings her palms down and she takes her right leg back right palm down left arm up left palm down right arm up right palm down left arm up left palm down right arm up just three more right palm down left arm up left palm down right arm up two more right palm down left arm up left palm down right arm up one last right palm down left arm up and she has the option to lift the left leg she has the option to bend the left knee grab the left big toe and straighten the left leg up very nice very nice we stay last five keeping the hips high last four with a breath very good last three last two and then we bring the feet down palms down and she go for dropping knees dropping chest dropping chin inhale into up dog exhale into the down dog a deep breath here inhale exhale her gaze goes to the front she hop front or walk front and we're going to do five of this she hop back or walk back very good so she can choose she wants to walk or hop and front and back three more front and back two more front and back i like the modification she's choosing and front and back and front and she grabs her big toes very nice she stretches the hamstring staying in this position inhale exhale inhale exhale and with the inhale she's going to lift her arms up she's again going to push the hips to the front pointing the fingers to the back side of the wall very nice and then with the next breath she come back to the center very nice and she's going to rest for two deep breaths before we go shoot to the other side inhale exhale inhale exhale one more inhale exhale and we again go to the front of the mat and again i bring my hands near the heart center and i bend my knees again i pull the left knee with the right elbow and with control i'm going to step my right leg back 
pulling the left knee nicely in hands more closer to your right shoulder rather than to the left we stay last five last four last three last two last one and then she come back to the center put her right knee down put her hands on the waist and we're gonna work on the back leg so we're gonna lift the right knee off and then down again just four more time lift it off and down three more times lift it off and down two more times lift it off and down one last time lift it off and down and then i'm gonna go for making a bound so first you need to pull your left knee nicely in with the right elbow then use your left hand so you need to bend your left elbow first use your left hand to push the right hand under the left thigh and then you take very good and then you take your left arm behind and try to make a bound and if we find difficulty in making the bound so we are going to use the strap then we stay in this position you can choose to lift the back knee your left ribcage lifted we maintain this position last five last four last three last two last one and then she slowly releases the bound bring her palms down onto the mat taking the left leg back into dropping knees dropping chest dropping chin inhale into up dog exhale into the down dog stay in here for a deep breath inhale exhale with the next breath she's going to lift her right leg up she's going to bend her right knee she's going to drop her right foot to the left side bend both the knees lift the hips high her right palm either on the mat or closer to the mat so how she can bring it closer by rotating the left wrist very nice so her fingers are pointing towards the body if our right hand doesn't go closer to the mat she can just try to bring it closer to the mat if it doesn't touch the mat we stay last five pushing the chest towards the front last four last three last two and then slowly with control she's going to lift her right hand back into the same position coming back into the down dog very nice i'm so proud of you inhale exhale with the next breath she's going to lift her left leg up bend the left knee drop the left foot to the other side bend both the knees lift the hips high her left fingertips on the mat or closer to the mat very good and she just breathe in breathe out here last five very good last four last three last two and with control she's gonna lift her hand back into the same position where she was so lifting her hand off coming back yes perfect that's beautiful and you just stay into the down dog inhale exhale gaze to the front she's going to choose to either walk front or hop front we're going to add five more like this walk back or hop back here we go hop front very nice and back four more front and back three more front and back two more front and back one last front 
and back once she reaches back she's going to go into the plank and from the plank she has to do the side plank on the other side right palm down left arm up and left palm down right arm up so once she reaches this position option to lift the right leg or the option to bend the right knee grab the right big toe and straighten the right leg up very good very good we stay last five last four last three last two last one and she releases the foot and she bring her knees down onto the mat rest into child pose relax into the child pose two deep breaths here inhale exhale let your body settle inhale exhale two more inhale exhale one more inhale exhale and with the next breath she's gonna lift herself up she's gonna bring her elbows down on the mat she's gonna interlace the fingers so we are gonna move into the dolphin I lift my knees I start walking my feet closer to the face my head is off the mat my feet closer to the face and we just stay last five last four last three last two and she lifts her right leg up very good we stay last five last four last three last two and she brings her right foot down and she lifts her left leg up very good last five last four last three last two and left foot down and knees down i want her to relax for a deep breath inhale exhale breathe in and out and i want her to again go back onto her elbows again lift herself into the elbow plank this time so from this position i want her to step the foot out and in out and in or out in out in out in so she can choose to let's go ahead either do it slowly or fast can we do out in out in 10 out in 9 out in 8 in 7 in 6 in 5 in 4 in 3 in 2 in 2 in 3 very good in 4 in 5 in 6 in 7 in 8 in 9 in and a little fast out 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 very good 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 and knees down awesome rosie so proud of you <laughs> just grab two deep breaths inhale exhale inhale exhale and with the next breath i want her to come on to her elbows again lifting the knees off and just turn the hips to the side and side and side and side 10 side 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 nine side side eight side seven left right six left right five left 
right four left right three left right two left right one left right one left right two left right three left right four left right five left right six left right seven left right eight left right nine left right ten left right and put your knees down very nice relax two deep breaths rest into child pose all right from the child pose i want her to lift and just place the right leg to the front we're gonna go for the pigeon stretch now these are all my favorite stretches and these needs to be done every day you feel so good about yourself when you do it you feel so much opening up of your hip joints so now avoid leaning onto the right instead square the hips you can use the block to place it under the right hip yes and then start walking your hands to the front letting yourself sink closer to the mat very nice and i just want her to relax and enjoy the stretch and as i said it's a very very important stretch and it is said that i heard it is said that pigeon a day keeps a doctor away so i this is my favorite quote <laughs> breathe in and out inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale two more deep breaths here inhale exhale and with the next breath i would ask her to lift up and pull the right foot closer to the hip joint so sometimes person find it difficult to balance so person would need a block to be placed under the right hip yeah this will help to create a good balance and from there i want her to first show the modification if at all you cannot go further so what you can do is you simply bend your left knee and pull your left foot and bring it closer to the hip so this is a very good to your squats now second option she pull her left foot in her left elbow so yes and then she takes her right arm behind and she makes a bound perfect that's mermaid and if i want her to do king pigeon then how i would ask her to grab the left foot yes now sometimes it becomes difficult for the person to reach and to directly rotate the shoulder so what we can do is we can use the strap wrap the strap around the left foot and then grab the strap yes and then walk the hands back perfect now walking the hands back as back as you can so that your hands get closer to your foot so this way you can progress in your practice perfect and just stay here breathe last five last four last three last two last one and then you slowly release the leg perfect now once you release the leg i want you to face towards the cameras so that people can see what are we going to do i want you to keep your right knee to the side and left leg extended here so in this way right knee to the side left leg extended yes now i want her to first get a good side rib gate stretch so put your left palm on the shin 
take your right arm over the ear very good and enjoy this stretch this is also one of my favorite stretch because you feel a lot of opening in your side rib cage so it is not important that we reach to the big toe it is important we lift the right rib cage and we enjoy this stretch inhale exhale inhale exhale one more inhale exhale one last inhale exhale and then she lifts her up and now we are gonna go for bending the left knee so keeping the right knee bent and she's gonna lift her left leg up this is the first option she's going to bring her left shoulder under the left knee so lift her left foot lift the left foot left shoulder is under the left knee now if you cannot go further you can simply hold your left leg like this or with both the hands or with both the hands yes you can try lifting the left leg up so this way it helps in opening up of the hip joints if you can go further you first bring your left shoulder under the left knee yes and then grab the left sole of the foot with your right hand left palm stays on the mat and then start lifting your left leg up it's your right rib cage stretch your head is in between the right arm and the left leg feel the stretch in your right rib cage and in your left hamstring we just stay here inhale exhale two more inhale exhale one more inhale exhale and then we slowly bring the foot down awesome and we again walk our hands walk our hands towards the front we go into the down dog position again as we are going to switch the leg now so we step the left leg front we are moving into the pigeon stretch yes right leg extended back we are going to perform the same stretches on the other side as well perfect so avoiding sinking on the left side try sinking your hip more onto the right this will deepen the stretch and start walking your hands front letting yourself sink closer to the mat we just stay in this position inhale exhale so after all the movements the body needs to come down needs to settle down and the best pose or best yoga pose that i prefer to settle down is a pigeon inhale exhale two more inhale exhale one more inhale exhale and with the next breath you lift if you need to place the block under the left foot you place the block if it's fine for you you just let it go off pulling the left foot closer to the hip joint first option bending the right knee pulling the right foot closer to the hip second option right foot in the right elbow left arm reaches back and you make a bound and the last option right foot grab with both the hands and you drop your head back so grab the right foot rotate the right shoulder and then dropping the head that's the last option so i she is doing mermaid at the moment where she has put the right foot in the right elbow left arm reaches back and make a bow now if she can do mermaid so beautifully so i would ask her to progress in the practice by trying the king pigeon so i want her to use the strap and grab the strap yes taking the arms over first yes walking the hands back perfect her torso facing to the front perfect and we just stay in this back pose 
walking the hands back as back as she can and it's very less gap is remaining but I, I believe she's going to do it with some of the series of practice so the foot has released we release the yes we just stay wait wait yes and try inhale exhale inhale exhale two more inhale exhale one last inhale and then you slowly release the foot and then we'll move forward the side ribcage stretch so if she has block i would ask her to let go of the block face towards the side and extend the right leg to the right keep your left knee bent first we're going to go for the side ribcage stretch put your right palm on the right shin left arm reaches over the ear yes left rib cage lifted and you just maintain this stretch left knee to be pushed as out as you can yes perfect and we just stay settle into the pose inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale one more inhale exhale and then she come back to the center now i would ask her to keep her left knee bent bend her right knee first i want her to try the modification so that those who cannot do what they can do in order to progress in the practice hold the right leg with both the hands yes so that it helps to stretch your hip joint perfect like how you cradle the baby perfect and if she can go further i would ask her to grab the right foot with her left hand let her right shoulder come under the right knee yes right palm stays on the mat and start lifting your left rib cage try to straighten the right leg as much as you can if you cannot straighten knee bending is absolutely fine so do not over stretch yourself just go with accept the body and how it goes inhale exhale inhale exhale one more inhale exhale and then she's going to release her right leg perfect and i want her to settle down into laying down on her back back on the mat and lay down and bend your knees hug the knees tight your body needs it hug the knees tight just stay here inhale exhale and then let your arms go parallel to the floor and drop your knees to the right turn your head to the left and use your right hand to pull the left knee down spinal twist is very important just two more deep breaths so you can stay longer into the spinal twist i prefer to stay longer so you can stay longer or you can go with the flow of the class and then we're gonna drop our knees to the other side and turn our head to the right use your left hand to pull the right knee down next breath she'll come back to the center and i want her to rest into shavasana but i'll modify it by bending the knees sole of the feet together like how we do butterfly pose drop your knees down drop your feet down in the mat arms to the side palms facing up fingers naturally curled in and let your eyes stay close 
So ignore any thought that is coming to your mind. If something is bothering you, just connect with the breath. So Shavasana is very important for us. We need to rest because the movement, we keep on moving throughout the day. But we need to rest, we need to relax, we need to appreciate the body, its hard work that it has done. Just relax. Remind yourself it's an important time to connect with your body. Inhale deeper, exhale deeper. Inhale all the positiveness, exhale all the negativity. Just relax, relax all the body muscles. Starting from your feet to the crown of your head. Appreciating the hard work that the body has done. Connecting with the breath, inhale deeper, exhale deeper. You can stay as longer as you can in the Shavasana. And then slowly we bring the awareness to the breath, we try straightening the legs. We stretch the arms over the head. We give our body nice and a beautiful stretch, stretch and release. Bend the knees, turn to the right and stay there for a few deep breaths. And press your left palm on the mat and lift yourself up, come up into the sitting position. Let your eyes stay closed, staying here for a deep breath. Inhale, exhale. My hands near the heart center, thank you very much. Thank you everyone and thank you Rosie for joining me today. I really had a very good time. Thank you.